And welcome to the SMU Esports Broadcast presented by By Blue Light. I'm Grant McNew alongside Cooper. Cooper, say hello. Cooper Milford here, stoked for another season of SNU Rocket League. I hope you're ready. Me and Grant are ready. It is going to be an amazing season. Tonight, your Crimson Storm take on the Tulsa Golden Hurricanes. And I think they're set to win this one tonight, Grant. Yeah, Cooper, I agree really wholeheartedly. We're going to see three guys from this SNU team that we're very familiar with. Uh, Briss, Kyrgios, and Kenny Kudos coming in. Looking to have another great season. They kind of dropped a little short last year, finishing third in the OACE. Um, but they're looking to repeat the success that they did see and maybe push that a little further. Absolutely. I'm excited to see Briss on the field again this year. Coming in as a top 50 ranked player in the world. Mm. He should show some absolute talent out there. I'm excited about Josh. Excited about Kenny. Kenny coming into his sophomore year. A little bit more experience under his belt. It's going to be a great season for all three of these guys. And we have a pretty good backup roster as well. It's going to be an amazing year for Rocket League. Starting fall 2023, I am pumped. Yeah, Cooper, you talk about Kenny coming into his sophomore year. Do you know what they call the sophomore year in esports? I don't. No, that's a shame. I was really hoping you did because I have no clue either. (laughs) Very, very, very nice. I have no idea. I love it. Well, hey, we are excited to get into tonight's first match against the Golden Hurricanes. Again, this is SNU Rocket League, powered by Buy Blue Light. If you're looking for some blue light glasses, Buy Blue Light is an amazing option for you. I know for me, if I need to watch something before I go to bed, if I'm reading a little something on my phone, whatever it may be, blue light glasses are amazing, and Buy Blue Light is a great product. So we're really excited to be partnering with them, and we're excited that you're here watching our first game of SNU Rocket League. And it's going to be a great year in the booth as well. We're excited. Me and Grant, our second year here together. That's I'm sorry, Grant and I. Sorry to everyone in the English department. Grant and me, actually. Would it? Yeah, because you wouldn't say I. Okay, let's not get into it. (laughs) I I love it. I graduated high school. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Well, I taught English for a while and didn't do it well. So I am... I am very, um, not necessarily an expert on the matter, but we have several new guys here in the room tonight. A lot of energy in the Rocket League room. Jersey, there we go. You hear it in the background. Jerseys are going on. That's what I'm talking about. We're stoked. It is going to be an electric night, and I'm just going to make my call. Let's go ahead and make our call. I'm going to say Crimson Storm. I'm going to say 3-0. I think they're going to take it 3-0 tonight. Five games. Not even going to happen. It's only going to be three games. Honestly, coming into this, I actually was also going to predict 3-0. I'm not going to lie to you, Cooper. Um, And I'm really a little bit frustrated that you took that call from me instead of letting me just call a 3-0. But, yeah, you talk about we're going to have so much excitement in the room. We've got it all ready. Um, I remember coming in for the tryouts, just getting to take a look around. A lot of hype around this eSports squad. A lot of people around campus are really excited uh, for what's going to happen this season. I think – we're included in that as well as the student body and a lot of people even outside of campus. There's a lot of buzz around this program. Absolutely. There's there's buzz on campus this year. We've got uh, a new restaurant on campus that if you're on campus, you should definitely stop by and check out. We've got a new outdoor space called the Crimson Corner, putting green, grill, mm. fire pit. It's an amazing space to hang out. New student lounge, several new freshmen coming in, excited about a new year. We are at capacity in the dorms which is a great problem to have it is an electric year on campus and an electric year for this esports program it is awesome you know grant today i was in a a meeting to talk about the future of esports and there are many people on this campus full-time employees staff members administration that are all in that are super bought into esports and the future of the program here at snu i think it's going to continue to grow i'm really excited that rocket league is kind of the maiden voyage of esports they are the first ones kind of blazing the trail Um, and we had halo last year and this year we're gonna have cod and we're gonna have several other programs this year we have six games Uh, last year we only had two and so we're just continuing to grow so if you are a prospective esports player and you want to play college esports definitely check us out reach out dm us on instagram talk to some coaches we want you to come check out campus and we want you to get in our rooms so definitely we've got an event coming up that i'm going to plug real quick while we're waiting on 
Tulsa to jump on uh, the game. We've got an event coming up October 28th, okay? We're inviting 12 universities over to our campus to compete in a LAN Rocket League tournament, and it is going to be awesome. And we're inviting prospective high school students and teams and coaches. If you want to come watch, we want you there. It is going to be an exciting night. Yeah, I've already heard a lot about that just through the grapevine. Can't say that I, you know, can wait for it. I'm super excited just to see that. And I'm not even on the esports squad, so I can only imagine the guys that are actually going to be playing, actually going to be involved in that, what they're feeling um, as that comes up. But, yeah, you talk about a lot. um, Campus being at capacity right now, really, SMU, the place to be, it seems, just in general, whether it's college or just in OKC or in even maybe the world. Dare I say? Absolutely. Absolutely. You dare say. And you said I it. Did. I did yeah, say. Some said would it. say I said. Yeah, absolutely. I think um, it is a, a lively pre- place mm, right now. Yes. And, and Unicorn Kisses says growth in a student population at the same time as esports. Coincidence? I think not. And I also think not. Unicorn Kisses. I'm going to say it. I think not. I think that growth in esports means growth in student body. It is an important program. And we're excited. Excited about it. And tonight is no exception. It is going to be an amazing evening. Now, stick with us for just a second while we wait on TU to catch up with us, and we'll jump into this game here in just a couple seconds. back we're just about ready here as Tulsa is finally in there's the kickoff JP able to win that one for the Golden Hurricanes and already Cooper goodness gracious now last year we saw this TU team uh, not necessarily perform to the caliber of SNU but I mean as you see right there the first four seconds a little bit of a shocking goal but I don't think our guys are really gonna let that bog them down yeah, maybe a quick punch in the mouth, but what really matters here is how you respond if you're SMU. As Kenny Kudos is watching that ball float towards the goal, it's going to bounce off the back wall. Yeah, now we're seeing the same three TU players as last year. Doesn't seem like we have any graduates. Doesn't seem like we have a change in roster. So it very well could be that they got some practice over the summer and they came into attack, as you saw right there, for another goal from Stubb. Taztic. Yeah, Stubb Taztic led uh, the squad in goals last year. He had 20, as well as 12 assists, leading them in that category as well. Um, overall, average scores were pretty even for the Hurricanes over in Tulsa. Yeah, now we're not. We're hoping that Stubb Taztic isn't going to have to carry to you, and we're hoping the same uh, for Briss. I don't think Briss is going to have to carry this team. I think we've got a good, solid uh, teamwork here, but. I'm, I'm sure that this isn't going to reflect the rest of the evening for our Crimson Storm. First night back, getting their legs underneath them. First time with some pretty legit competition together as a three. So we'll see what comes of it. But I think I think it's still going to be a pretty good night for the Crimson Storm. The ball starting to reach towards the middle. Kenny Kudos will bounce it off the wall. Stubbed Hasdick trying to make some sort of contact. Now Curios. Off to the left side. Briss will get a touch on it. Curios floating in the air. Cooper, this is dangerous. SNU with an opportunity. Staples able to punch it out. Yeah, and when you look at the stats from last year for all three of these TU players and you look at their scores and their goals, on average across the board, they're they're all holding similar counts there, right? You see Staples with 12 goals. You see Stubtastic with 20. You see J.P. Moore with 16. 
I mean, they're, they're a pretty even playing field team. Um, and what that tells me is that they, they work well together and not that, you know, we've got a couple guys with a massive difference in goals, not that we don't work well together. Um, but I think that they've probably just grown in that, uh, in the last, uh, year or summer, I should say. Um, and so they're working well together right now. Uh, but again, I think our guys are going to figure out their defense, figure out their rotation and, and start to attack here soon. We're going to have to really play defense for these last three minutes. Yeah, and I see Briss making a move on the ball, and you talk about how even this Tulsa team is in terms of statistics and style of play. It really just means you have to be consistent across the board in this matchup. As you down 2-0 as we approach the 235 mark here in the first game. Yeah, and watching last year, watching TU, um, they, they had a lot of groundwork. They were good at keeping the ball on the ground as much as possible, especially – with Briss, who's a who's a largely aerial guy, he's very very good in the air, and it seems like some SNU players have gotten much better in that area as well. Um, but you've kind of seen TU tonight taking flight in these first three minutes. I mean, they are playing it over the heads of our guys right now. Um, can be frustrating for the SNU squad. Um, but as you see, Briss taking it into the goal here, and a clear by Stubtastic. Clearly, he has upped his game. Yeah, you saw Briss on a nice attack. Beautiful defensive play from TU. Now Briss back at it again, trying to climb the wall. Like you said, an aerial guy largely. He's going to get another shot at it. There it is. Briss. Oh. 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 strike first on the season for SNU. It's 2-1. They trail by one, but a little momentum with 143 left. Here in game one. And you know we've said this. Briss is aerial. I mean, you saw the control he had. Going into the goal, he had complete dominance. He had, he knew exactly where he wanted to put it, and he did it. He executed beautifully. Now we just need a couple more of those. JP with the pass to Stubtastic for TU. Now Briss in the air on the wall. Stubtastic will get a touch. Kyrgios working defensively. We've got a demo on Kenny Kudos. Now Briss at it. Now you'll see... If, you'll, if you can see the field a little bit, you'll start to see these rotations. You'll start to see these patterns where if Staples comes up and attacks, he'll clear out and J.P. Mull will be right there behind him to rotate and to try to put the ball away. It is a classic Rocket League technique, something that our guys are very good at. A good clear there by J.P. Mull. But a, see, here comes Kenny Kudos to try to put it away. It is a classic Rocket League rotation, especially when you're playing threes like this. Briss back on the defensive side for the Storm. And Kenny Kudos there with him. And JP was able to keep that ball away from the clear. Now he's got a grounder towards the goal. It's going to float just in front of the orange. And now Kyrgios on the attack. Man, open opportunity. Just couldn't get it to go. 30 seconds left. JP Mole back there playing defense and playing it strong. Watching the ball come in clear. It was... Too good to be true, truly, as, as Kyrgios tries to push that, push that ball downfield. It was it was a good clear by J.P. Moore. Down to 15 seconds. SNU still trailing by one. Now 10 left. Ball's on the wrong side of the pitch for the Storm. So we're down to five. Now Briss trying to get something going. No time left. Clock doesn't stop to the ball. Hits the ground. See if we can put it away. Oh. And just... Just missed. Perfectly teed up. Just missed. The guys are getting excited over there in the booth. I think they're going to take it away. I think they're going to swallow that one, and they're going to attack come round two. Tulsa up 2-1 to the Golden Hurricanes. Yeah, and you take that one off the crossbar. The next one. <laughs> yeah, you okay. take that one off the crossbar. That is... Really tough, but first game of the season, you had it right there in your hands, and just a minor, minor problem there takes it away from you, takes the W away from your squad. I think you're feeling good with the way you closed out that game, and you're feeling good going into the rest of the match. Yeah, I think our communication got a heck of a lot better. I think it probably didn't help that we jinxed them going into it, calling a 3-0 match. Well, we I already eaten our words. Okay. I changed Fair it enough. mid-match. <laughs> changed it mid-match, yeah, as he saw those first two goals. Uh <laughs> But truly, I think this, again, our guys, Crimson Storm's first competitive threes right here. So here we go, underway, round two, another five minutes. Our guys are going to pull one out here. I think it's going to be a great match for them. 
Kenny Kudos with it early on the defensive side. Now Briss. To you, still staying offensive. We saw this a lot in the last game. They seem to always be on the right side. Now Kyrgios. Open opportunity. You'll see if he can set it up. Can't do it. Good defensive play. You'll see sometimes you'll probably wonder, like, why did he whiff so hard right there? I mean, most of the time he sees an attacker coming forward, and he is going to try to play off that attacker. As Stubstastic scores the first goal for this round for Tulsa. But you'll see they'll try to play off the defender a little bit, and so it'll look like they're whiffing, but they're expecting the defender to hit, and that's where the, the skill and the prediction comes in, where you just have to kind of predict where it's going to head. Um, number seven looking weird. I don't know what that's about. Um, but you're seeing... Kyrgios on the field there. You're probably seeing Kenny Kudos there, a little mix-up technicality-wise. The ball's going to cross right across SNU's goal. Yeah, Briss got a tap on it to throw it off its original course. Looked like that may have helped defensively as the Storm now on the offensive end. Briss trying to make a move. He'll pause. Float it up. He's all alone over there. Now he'll return. Staples gets it by the first guy. Kyrgios able to send it away. Now Stubb is in the air. You've got to feel comfortable if you're SNU fighting those aerials against TU, don't you, Cooper? As we say, that one almost enters the goal there. But, yeah, truly we do have a pretty aerial Man, team. And, and as you see Briss do exactly what he wants with the ball and just misses wide. Room gets a little crazy in here. And they're going to – J.P. Mole is just going to take it in. No – problem there a little frustrating defensively there for the crimson storm as the golden hurricanes are up on them 2-0 within the first two minutes again yeah 326 left on the clock down 2-0 what you do know is that you're capable of coming back from this there you just barely miss the goal and that's a two-point swing yeah you have time and, and again the ball is going to almost go right in there um one thing i think snu is going to have to shape up maybe is, is these rotations just like Tulsa is I mean they're filling the spot pretty quickly um, when a ball is sent it is then someone's there to put it away right and so SNU's got to get a little, little bit better at that but we've also really got to focus on the defense right now we've got to be back there to clear it out just like Briss was right there that's great defense JP Mole's going to try to play it off the corner and they're almost going to put it away again Briss is in the goal but he can only do so much as sub Stubtastic Puts another one away to put the Golden Hurricanes up 3-0. Grant, I mean, it's it's frustrating. That's frustrating for the team, and I'm sure they feel that. Yeah, that's a textbook offensive play for TU. They seem to be really well coached uh, this season. A lot of work uh, took place this summer, obviously, as SNU will win that kickoff. It goes straight to Staples. Hey, I got to say a shout-out, too. I mean, Crimson Storm, they're extremely well coached, okay? Austin Schoenfeld knows what he's doing. Uh, he's an experienced rocket leaguer if you will um and he really knows how to hype the guys up and and we got a lot of leadership in in zane as well um like i said a top 50 player in the world so strong leadership there um i, well, I don't that shot. Yeah, there we go Chris. that's what i'm talking about right there zane got it. makes it look easy man makes it look easy and and he just exactly he does exactly what he wants with the ball good spin to send that ball right yeah. under the crossbar now trailing by two is SNU. Two, two twenty-six left on the clock, man. That didn't take long at all. No, and and that's one thing about SNU that I love is, is they work pretty quick. I mean, when they start to move the ball downfield, it it's pretty quick. It's boom boom. You know, it they make boom boom plays, and I kind of like that to, you know, I like to watch Kenny that. Kudos. It's fun to watch. And there it goes another one in. Kenny Kudos. I got a little distracted with my words. I started fumbling over my, my words a little bit as I saw that ball start to go towards the goal. Kenny Kudos with his first on the night. Kenny found that 12 times last season. He's got one early in this one. Exactly, exactly. And I told you SNU is going to come in with a vengeance, right? They're only down by one now. Two minutes to play. Plenty of ball left to play in this second round. I, I think they've got a real shot here to come back. Subtastic. Going one-on-one -on -one with Kenny. He'll get it by. Looks like Kenny got a touch on it. Now Briss, he's going to take to the offensive end. It's a good bump. Staples is going to put that in the corner. Good defensive rota rotation from Tulsa there. Now check this out. Briss in the air. Is he going to put it away? Oof. Off the side. 
Now JP, try and go with Kenny Kudos with it. Ariel from Briss, they've jumped a little early. And beautiful save by Kyrgios to bump it just enough to the side. Kyrgios in the air. He's going to get it over there. Beautiful pass. The setup was gorgeous as Briss finishes the job. That is what I'm talking about. Strong rotation, strong passing, strong teamwork from the Crimson Storm. That's what we've been waiting to see. That's what they did so well last season. And I love to see that assist right there. A great cross and a good put away as the ball is going to head towards us. And he's going to get clear by Briss there. Man, Briss on top of his game right now. He just loves to be on top. Briss climbing the back wall. Looks like Kenny Kudos going to have to get back defensively as JP is there and now Briss and Kyrgios both back as well. I love to see Chad Jaggers in the chat. Bolts up, baby. Welcome to everybody in the chat. We're so glad you're here. This is an absolute blast. We're so happy to be here. First game back on the season. Crimson Storm holding a strong tie here, hoping to put another one on the board. 3-3. Uh, Tulsa up overall 1-0. Not, not the start that Crimson Storm were wanting, but it could potentially be a good finish from the Crimson Storm. I'm excited to see what they have to offer. Yeah, Briss in the air. This is dangerous. That ball's going to rotate over and out. Down to 12 seconds left in this game. Uh-oh. That ball's going to roll right in. Just inside of the post. A couple misses there from the yeah. SNU defense. Frustrating there on the end. You could hear, I don't know if you could hear it on our mics, but we could hear it in the room. The guy's a little disappointed as the ball rolled right into the goal. They couldn't do anything about it. They didn't have any boost. Um, they didn't have any chance to get to that ball. Didn't have the speed. It's just frustrating. All you can do is watch it roll in. As we're going to put that away. To start the kickoff, SNU somehow finds Kenny Kudos. Sophomore year, baby. Kenny has got a year under his belt. He's got the experience. He watches, and he absolutely nailed that one in to tie the game. Now we are in overtime, and now Grant overtime in Rocket and Rocket League. Kenny only goes. That's the game. Absolute dominance from Kenny Kudos on the back end of that game there. I was about to explain what overtime is. It is a golden goal, and you saw that there. Kenny Kudos puts it away just like the Jets did against the Bills last <laughs> night in overtime. That was absolutely incredible. Kenny Kudos with the hat trick. Three goals again. Had 12 last season, which is nothing to scoff about, but to have three here in match – in one game in match number one. Yeah. Incredible. I mean, that is absolutely amazing. That was I'm I'm telling you, he's a he's a different man. He's coming in. He wants to dominate. That was awesome. Great teamwork, great passing. Now, Crimson Storm tied one one with the Golden Hurricanes going into round three. This ball spells danger, year. man. Curious able to get back just in time to push it away. Ball in the air towards SMU's goal. It's going to get over Kyrgios. Kenny Kudos back to kick it out. <laughs> I saw in the chat, Kenny is himmy. Uh, he is him. And, and Rudy Rocket says absolute beauty. I mean, all of those things are very true. Kenny Kudos stands to be a force to be reckoned with this season. He is going to be a problem for opponents this year. As Briss oh clears that one like a champ. That was awesome to watch that's just what Briss does again he plays the aerial game very well now Briss going on the attack Briss nearly got it by untouched now Kenny Kudos trying to shot at it Kyrgios man SNU's got to get back here this is where that again I talk about it over and over that rotation comes into play Briss is back there to play defense that ball's gonna head towards the goal but Kenny with good defense we've got all three guys in the backfield here trying to keep this ball out of the goal they're going to send it downfield across the line. Kenny Kudos. Ariel, again, I mean, he is just good at that stuff. He's getting better and better on the night. I love it. 
There, JP will get a touch and stubbed Hasnick trying to get a shot off. But that's new. A lot of bumping going on. Nice. That ball centered up. They love bumping. Kyrgios from the aerial. Now Staples for TU taking it the other way. And Kenny Kudos has been all over. We talk a lot about Briss. But Kenny is just right there as he bounces it off the back wall. That ball centered up. Kyrgios with a shot. Oh, it'll be kept out of the goal by TU. Now Kenny approaching again. Won't go. Again, tonight brought to you by Buy Blue Lights. Um, and... The ball was hanging in front of the net, and just as soon as Cooper Milford tries to make a quick buck, <laughs> Kenny Kudo shuts it down. That's right. I had a pretty good joke lined up. It's not worth saying now, but that was awesome. I'll just say that goal brought to you by Buy Blue Light. Hey, if you're looking for blue light glasses, Buy Blue Light, incredible, incredible product. I was going to do a whole uh, Peter Gabriel riff okay. there. But it's just not worth it anymore. Well, Nobody's going to understand the down. reference. Yeah, that was awesome. Kenny Kudos, beautiful flip. And now Briss looking to finish the job. Couldn't do it. Good defensive play by JP. Yeah, I mean, if we could see a, a tracker for how long, oh, for, if you will, time of possession, how long the ball has been on the other side of the field. I think SNU has definitely this round kept it kept the ball in Tulsa's territory as much as possible. They've been a lot more aggressive this round, as you can see. Had to play a lot of defense in the last couple rounds, but really playing strong, aggressive offense this this one as well. That ball centered up beautifully for TU. Somehow, oh, it bounces gosh. out. Man, that's new fortunate right there is Briss working on the offensive side. He's gonna go against Stubtastic, Akirios, and Kenny on the opposite end. Awkward spot here. Now Briss taking control. Just absolutely carrying the ball with no problem. Staples there to put it away just barely. But as you see, Briss just dribbles like a pro. That is one thing he's amazing at is he just carries that ball and again does exactly what he wants with it. Briss, good defensive play. He's going to take it up the right side wall. Now JP. Meeting in the air. He's got a goal opportunity, but Briss will take it away like it's nothing. Cooper, you're getting excited. Yeah, I mean, I just love watching these guys play, and, I, and I'm, first of all, just passionate about it. You know, I love these guys. I love watching them play. I I, I just think they're amazing. And, and when I see him do something like that, like that save that Briss just had, like it's so routine for him, um, something I could just never do. You know, I, I get absolutely ecstatic and fired up and I hope you are in the chat as well boom man I wish we had a boot cam so everybody could see you fist pump at every little thing it's awesome that's right it's like Jersey Shore in this booth it's crazy I am getting <laughs> excited I'm getting excited but really honestly I we've got a straight beeline shot um, we've got a good look at the whole team and when they get excited and they get jacked up about something they do I mean it gets me pumped up you know what I'm saying Feels like I'm on the sideline at a football game. Or in the booth of an eSports match. Or that ball's open up towards the middle. Just missed. Why? Man, a couple missed opportunities both ways. TU and SNU both struggling right now. A bit awkward is this situation. It's like a middle school dance. Crimson Storm trying to hold this lead here. Just got to get the ball on the ground with one second. One second. Ball's got to get down if you're SNU. Yeah. Now How about that? Briss earns the title of ball hog. Well deserved. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, so well done by everybody there. Kenny with one goal in that game to take SNU to victory. Great assist. Briss with incredible defense. As you can see, he had four. Well, you can't see right now, but four saves on that one game. I mean, absolutely stellar defense and aggressive offense played there by the Crimson Storm. Now they're up 2-1, as you can see, over the Golden Hurricanes as we go into round four. It is best of five. So if Crimson Storm take this one, they win the night. So here we go. Yeah, I believe we both called 3-1, Cooper, in the pregame. Totally. Yes. Now Curios has it on the left side. 
D on the offensive end. Briss will find it in the air and poke it away. Again, SNU up 2-1 in games over Tulsa. Ball on the offensive side for the Storm. Briss just causing havoc. I just want to point out a couple of the Peter Gabriel references that I'm seeing. Um, one of the best ones I've seen so far is Storm with the Sledgehammer. Great Peter Gabriel reference. Going to go see him live in October. I'm really, really excited personally. For your birthday? Uh, yeah, truly, for my birthday. Okay. As, birthday. as Yeah, Grant and I share the same birthday of October 23rd. So if you want to send mm -hmm. letters, send them to 6612 Money. Northwest 42nd Street. Yeah, if you want to send anything. I mean, really, we, we just like getting mail. It makes us feel valued, okay? So, yeah, birthday's coming up. Get to go see Peter Gabriel. And I'd love to see Unicorn Kisses making the, the reference and a couple others making some good references. And, SNU in that first minute playing some solid defense here. Kind of seeing, almost made me sick there. We were seeing a full circle movement around that ball. Old. Yeah, I am getting pretty old. I'm in my, you know, mid to late 20s. It's really getting up there. It's getting hard to walk around. I'm almost 27, so it's really, really hard for me to move at this point. Um, all I do is eat, you know. Yeah, how about this defensive play <laughs> as we get back to the game at hand? Kenny Kudos in the air, now Briss, a lot of taken from him by Subtastic. Staples had it centered. Good oh, JP's going to have to get back. Man, <laughs> unfortunate for us. News, it bounces off the corner. And now Kudos bump it back to the offensive side. I mean, that was a long shot. Just missed. Barely wide, but another shot on goal there. A lot of trouble for TU here. I can feel the stress from TU as they kind of panic to try to keep this one under wraps. Curios trying to set Briss up, couldn't do it. Now Kenny Kudos in the air will overshoot it. Good defensive play by Curios. And Curios, you know, is not only an esports athlete, he is also an on-field athlete in rugby. An absolute dominant force on the rugby pitch. Um, they're playing TU this weekend and not Tulsa University. They're playing Texas. Oh. oh, they're playing OU this week? Yes. But they're playing Texas. They just played Texas? Well, I'm a little off. They're playing OU this weekend. They're playing the Sooners. Absolute stellar performance to come this weekend. So get out there, support your rugby team as well. Football's playing away this weekend. Several other athletics that are going to be absolutely amazing this weekend. And women's soccer play tomorrow. I mean, SNU athletics are on the rise. And that includes esports right now. Every single sport right now for SNU has just been on the rise, like you said. And Kenny Kudos looking to center it up. And again, Blanca League right there with the rest of the athletic department. Is, wow! What a play by Briss to send that one out of the goal. And another one, too, that I totally forgot. Kenny is a football player as well. So I'll many of our guys, yeah, many of our guys are involved in elsewhere on campus, which I love to see, which is important to us, important to SNU. But, oh! Just missed Man. slide. Staples clears that one. Very good clear from TU and a good aggressive attack from the Crimson Storm. JP will bump it up, keep it on the offensive side for TU. Now Curios trying to make a play offensively and it's poked away last second by Staples. Now Staples on the attack. His shot is taken away by Kudos. Kenny Kudos. That's right, and now and with at the one minute mark, zero zero is sometimes when you find it a tendency to kind of break those rotations out of almost out of panic. So if Crimson if the Crimson Storm can really hold those rotations through these last 45 seconds, they might have a chance to take advantage of TU on their heels a little bit. And a good block from Kyrgios there. JP Mole's gonna try to put it away. Briss with the save again. Goodness. Now JP on the attack again. That one taken away by Kenny Kudos. Now on the wall, Briss has got it. He's going to try to punch it to the right side. He gets it off the back wall. It's taken away by JP. The defensive play from both squads right now is absolutely stellar. I got a little nervous right there. <laughs> now Briss through the air. It's taken by Staples. It's going to pop up again. Kyrgios. Looking to play it off the ground. Briss looking to center it. Oh, there's a oh, no way. 
Kenny, kudos. Oh, we're going in over. Drop right in front of him. We are in OT for the second time in this match. Just a reminder, OT is golden goal. We will play until someone scores. The first one to score will take this match. Briss off the side wall. How can you kudos trying to get up defensively? It'll bounce off the back wall without needing a bump. Now Staples will make a move on the ball. Saved by Kenny Kudos. And that's new, staying back defensively right now. Yeah, pretty aggressive offense here from TU. Briss looking to make a move on the offensive side. Switch the aggression. Now Briss in the air. Let's go. The first goal of the game scored in overtime, and that'll seal it for SNU. The Crimson Storm. How do you like that? I mean, what can you say? That was a great assist there from Kenny. Off the opponent, off the wall, straight into Briss's bread basket, if you will. That's hard to say. But it was perfectly laid up, and Briss did exactly what he needed to with it. SNU is going to take... The cake tonight, Damn. lost the first round, came back three in a row, answered and won it all. What a great start to this 2023 season. Like you said, they lost the first one. It didn't matter. They win it 3-1 to open up the season. They're now 1-0 on the season. I think, I believe we'll take a quick break. Okay, oh, dude. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be back in just a second with an interview from Kenny Kudos, the yeah. MVP on the night. Oh. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with Kenny Kudos, our MVP on the evening. All of our guys played amazing this evening, but Kenny was right there in the action. Kenny, how are you feeling coming into sophomore year? Got a year under your belt, playing competitive Rocket League. How are you feeling? Feeling pretty good. Improved a little, a little bit. Absolutely, absolutely. Now, a little frustrating at the beginning yeah, tonight. Wasn't really on at the beginning. Okay, okay, that's fair. And I, and I think as a team... How would you say you guys came together um, to win this one? We really, uh, in the second and third game, we kind of kind of found our composure and like just stuck okay. through. Yeah, how important were rotations to you this evening uh, as you kind of struggled to get control of the ball there at the beginning of the night? Um, I think uh, our rotations weren't horrible. It, it definitely picked up during the second half of the series, but I think it was more of – what is it? Just challenging yeah. better. Just yeah. better challenges on the on their best guy. For sure. Ladies and gentlemen, Kenny Kudos, an amazing win from the Crimson Storm. 3-1 over the Tulsa Golden Hurricanes. We will see you next week right here when the Crimson Storm play another round of Rocket League. We'll see you back then.